Hey everybody, Streams Play here and welcome back to another snapshot video. Today we'll be overviewing 1.7 now. There have been so many additions to 1.7. Um, obviously all the biomes and stuff, but I will make sure I put all the details in the description. Um, so obviously I can't run around and look at every single biome and everything that's been added to this update. So I'm just going to do the most important stuff that I've got listed down here. And uh, then we'll just see how it goes. Um, so first off, the new wood. There have been a lot of new biomes Oh, everyone knows. There's been new dirt added as well. New ice added. Uh, but some of the main ones... Oops. <laughs> Running away from me. Uh, the packed ice right here. And the podzol. I think it's cool. I still haven't seen that one in the world yet. Um, but this is dark oak wood. And these ones are found, oops, <laughs> it's found in the roofed uh, forest, dark oak forest. Very nice places. Um, basically you can just jump onto those trees if you're in that biome. Um, this wood is called, where is it? Down here somewhere. It is Acacia, Acacia tree. These trees were actually found in the jungle, I mean not the jungle, the savannah biome. And they were actually jungle trees before but they're actually completely retexted them it's actually really really nice um so that's the planks for that also changed the birch and the spruce wood uh, a bit lighter and darker um i think that was basically because they added the acacia and the dark oaks they wanted to make it a little bit different um you can see as well the spruce wood is a little bit darker than it used to be um set in the hand and next we have all the plants that have been added so Roses, blue orchids, allium, <laughs> azure bluet, um, all the tulips are red, orange, white, pink, and tulips, oxide daisies, sunflowers, lilac, double tall grass, rose bushes, peony, and also the acacia leaves and the dark oak leaves. Over here we have the double fern and the double high grass. If you get some bone wheel, and you bone build the rose bush, you can actually get little roses from it. Um, and I think these give you two roses each, I believe. Let me get a workbench quickly. Put this here. I think these give you two each. Yeah, these give you two. The roses itself only give you one, which is pretty cool. All right, so let's get that out. I didn't need that there. So again, you can actually bone build these if you want to as well. So if you've got a phone or grass you can burn mill these sorry in there, in there. burn with these and they become double the height so that's pretty cool uh, very useful in jungles also uh, melons spawn naturally in jungles now as well which is a really cool addition and also fishes we've added new fishes to the game pretty cool now you have salmon as usual um I mean, sorry, <laughs> raw fish and cooked fish as usual. Um, salmon and cooked salmon. You also have clownfish and pufferfish. And also you have the enchantments for fishing itself. So luck of the sea and lure. Lure uh, lets you catch the fish easily. So the more fish are attached to the rod. And luck of the sea makes you get like books and boots and all that stuff. Really good, cool stuff for fishing. And puffer fish. You can actually brew them up to make a water breathing potion up to 8 minutes or 6 minutes for a splash potion. Really cool if you have aquaphrony and respiration on your helmet. Very, very, very helpful to you. Also, stained clay. Pretty awesome. And you make stained clay by doing so. Dye in the middle with a glass around. I mean, stained glass. I keep calling that stained clay, but it's not. And then you get your glass and you do this make it into panes so it's pretty cool if you ask me I love it absolutely love it and if you watch my other snapshots you would know that the stained glass was actually really opaque but now they've actually completely finished it and it's really nice nice and um, see-through transparent so it's really cool okay so that's basically it um, all the spectrum of the Minecraft rainbow and <laughs> um, that's basically it for the snapshot as I said before, I will put all the details in the description. So if you want to walk around your world and see all the new terrain stuff, you can do that. Uh, but thank you very much for watching, and peace out.